Now, in other news, a secret memo of a letter torn out of crucial areas raising questions if uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's wife actually believed if he was dead or alive. Now, this, these, are the, these are the images of that uh, memo. It's actually torn at a crucial juncture. So it's, it's begun to raise questions if Netaji's wife herself actually believed if he was dead or alive. Let's go across to Monidipa Banerjee, who joins us uh, on the phone line. Monidipa, just take us through. Of course, there are a whole lot of questions these files are raising, more than giving answers as what one would have expected. Just take us through this particular memo. You know, I would just like to start by saying that this is what probably controversies are made of. This particular memo that you can see, torn at a very crucial point, where it says that she believes and then it has disappeared, that corner of the paper. And then there is a L-Y. So did she believe clearly that Ajit Shubhat was, was dead? Or is there a word before that which could be doesn't believe clearly or clearly doesn't believe uh, whatever the syntax was? Uh, however, I have also spoken to members of the Netaji family who uh, are aware of that particular letter when it first came. And a copy of that letter uh, in, written in Bangla apparently, but now has an English translation. Uh, that is there with the family, and I'm going to get a copy of it. And the family says that Emily Schenkel Leach, that Netaji, was no more. But uh, soon after she sort of uh, pronounced it, a friend of hers uh, wrote to her saying that he may be alive. And Emily Schenkel wrote back saying, No one would be happier than I if he were alive. But I've also been just speaking to uh, uh, Mr. Rizwansh Mukherjee, a historian and vice chancellor of the Ashoka University, who also has a book on Netaji. And he feels that, you know, it's a great disservice to Netaji's memory to say that, you know, he never got in touch with his family and his daughter, who he has seen only once. If he had been alive after 1945, Netaji, according to Mr. Mukherjee, the historian, was a compassionate man, clear from the way he treated his soldiers when they were in retreat in the crucial years of the encounter in Southeast Asia. And the kind of compassion he showed for the women there, the soldiers there, there is no way that had he been alive, he would have not contacted Emily Shenko. And therefore, uh, professional trained historians are not willing to read more into this memo than should be. They say Emily Schenkel believed Netaji was dead. She herself was alive till 1996 and never did she publicly say that I believe he is alive. Right, Monadipa Banerjee there. Thanks very much uh, for joining us on that, as you say, a needless controversy over that memo torn at a crucial juncture.